hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will discuss about how to use row layout in our qt qml application and also its basics property also we will discuss about how to implement the row layout in qt qml application and see how it works so let's start so first of all import the qt quick layouts now let's create the row layout okay also let's create the rectangle control to display the uh, in our role layout control so let's set the id so let's set the my rect one also let's set the height and width property so width let's set the width is of 50 and height is set the as a also 50 prefer height is also 50 and also set the color let's select the color anyone so let's select this one and now let's also display the text okay so text one you can also change the name here okay now let's copy this all the code and create two or three more rectangles uh, change the uh, name and three select the different color for each rectangle now let's select this one and also set the uh, height or width and now let's run the application and check it So you can see the all are the rectangles are displayed in a horizontal manner and also that all the rectangles are displayed in the center of the your horizontal row okay so now let's display the text in the rectangle in center of the your rectangle so you we can also set the use of center anchor property and copy this line and set a sign for each rectangle also let's display the our wall layout in our center of the application or also you can set the uh, change the spacing between two rectangles for two child controls so let's set the uh, 10 okay now let's run the application and check it so you can see the all the all the rectangles are displayed in the our center of the application it which means our wall row layout is displaying the our center application also you can set the individual alignment of your rectangle so now let's set the individual alignment so you see a layout dot alignment like a let's set the qt align top align top and let's set the as a bottom now let's check it <coughs> so you can see the how rectangles are aligned in the uh, row layout so you can see the uh, rectangle one we assign as a top alignment so it will uh, set as a top of the rectangles which means your is a y point is a zero or it is a starting point where same as it is a, a rectangle three okay so uh, currently what is the maximum or minimum size of your uh, row layout is the uh, maximum of your uh, like a rect 3 okay so it will uh, assign the as it is or you can see the align bottom rectangle 2 is the same uh, assign as a align bottom in the uh, row, row layout so it's set as a rectangle 3 maximum height okay so now also you can set the uh, fill height property here so let's set the layout dot fill height as the true and check it so you can see the rectangle 1 and rectangle 3 height are assigned the same as it in our row layout which means is adjust the height in your row okay so this is the row layout 
and now let's remove this line and check it again you can see this is uh, our row layout also you can add uh, one more rectangle One twenty five and one twenty five. Now let's run the application and check it. So you can see the how row layouts are work. It basically just assign the all the child controls in a horizontal manner. So this is the row layout and please drop your comment if you have any questions about row layout. And please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video. And thanks for watching my video. Thank you.